Hey guys, and welcome back to Ellie Max SFX. For this look, we got the inspiration from Maze Runner. I'm turning myself into a crank. And also today, we're using a lot of new materials that we're trying out. So if you want to see how this is done, just keep on watching. This tutorial requires intermediate skills. Takes about one hour to prep the prosthetics, the teeth, and to do that paint job. Application time should be around one to one and a half or maybe two hours depending on how elaborate you create your crank. We spent a tiny amount of money on those pipe cleaners and a cheapo bolt cap. The rest we had in our store of stuff. Let's begin by creating the teeth using Elymorph plastic. Pour those pellets down into hot water and scoop it up when they are transparent and you can create your teeth. This is a high-speed version of creating simple teeth. Just create a little roll and cut out those teeth using a pair of scissors while that plastic is soft. Should the plastic be too hard to work with, simply dip it in warm water again and it will turn soft. You can of course use acrylic nail tips or any other kind of white plastic to create the teeth. Heading on to that prosthetic, we are mixing liquid latex with baking flour to create a nice latex paste. For an in-depth tutorial and a guide on how to make the perfect latex paste for any occasion, check out that awesome video linked on top there. Alright, so smear out the latex paste. We are creating a mouth. Now since those cranks are pretty rough in uh, skin texture, we don't want to make it too smooth. So we are keeping it pretty rough to get that texture. Looking awesome. And to keep your tools or fingertips, whatever you use to shape your latex paste with, from sticking, uh, simply dip it in liquid latex. There you go. You see we're keeping it rough. Just need that nice little shape of the mouth. And then breaking it off on one side to a trashy little wound. The cranks come in various looks and designs, so find a reference image of one that you like and go from there. Or simply create one straight from your own imagination. There is no right and no wrong in this case. With our mouth shape in place, we simply stick down those teeth straight into the latex paste. And with those awesome pearly whites in place, time to bring out those pipe cleaners. And we haven't used any of these ever before in any look, but it felt like it was a cool way of creating those weirdo branches and also get a nice texture on them. You can experiment by dipping them in latex as well to give them a sort of smoother look, but that hairy feel on them really, really looks awesome for this kind of makeup. We're simply attaching them by sticking them down into the paste, bending them and applying a little bit of latex paste there at the base as well. Your choice on how many or how few you like. You can always bend these afterwards when the prosthetic has set and dried. A little extra paste there to make sure they really get baked into the prosthetic. As this prosthetic is going to go out on the side of the face here as well, we continue with pretty much the same process. This is just a uh, texture for that side face, so we have something to attach those pipe cleaners to. Attaching 
detach them and let them flow upwards along the face there. When you're satisfied with your prosthetic and that pipe cleaner branch mess, leave the whole thing to dry overnight. And while your prosthetic dries up, be sure to check out Makeup by Marys on Instagram for some truly awesome body paint bonanza. Super work! One day has passed and it's time to paint that prosthetic before we put it in place. It's a lot easier. So we begin with a light skin tone. And then we go in and give those teeth a little more of a monster look. Can't have them all nice and white on a monster. And around the teeth, for the gum, we go for a slightly more orangey red sort of tone. Mixing in a little bit of bright beige there to really blend it well with our little mouth construction. Then we turn our attention to some deeper red tones for exactly that, some extra added depth to the look. It's a messy, nasty mouthpiece. And to top it all off, we go in with a brown, greenish, rotten kind of tone here around the whole mouth. Extend that out into those branches as well. We're gonna finish that paint job off once the prosthetic is attached to our little face. Switching the rotten tones for some additional red for those nasty wound looks. And to top the whole thing off, we add a little bit of clear varnish to the prosthetic to give it a nice little slippery shine. We want it a bit wet looking, so this is a perfect alternative for that. Now we're gonna let that dry and I'm handing over to Ellie. So to start off this crank look, I'm going to prepare my face with some Vaseline all over because I don't want to get my skin ripped off. This crank is going to be hairless, so we're gonna use a actually new uh, ball cap. This one is orange. We usually go for really cheap ball caps that look like shit, but they're cheap, so it works. Um, this is new. Airs are already cut out. It doesn't come that far down the neck, so we'll just have to live with that today. Um, making sure it stays in place with some latex. So we're going to start to build up some texture in my face and on my scalp. So I'm just going to go over and over with layers of latex and pieces of paper. Still not sure how these oop, pipe cleaners will work out, making the kind of vein that turned into wooden like pieces, I don't know. Um, what it is they have on their face, um, how this will work out. But I'm gonna give it a try and we're gonna put this all over the scalp and then cover this with latex over and over again. I had a package of wet napkins uh, that had dried out. As you can see, when I rip this apart, it has a pretty cool texture.
Before we go on with the prosthetics, we're going to make a little bit of a base color and I'm using a hairspray, body hairspray, um, which is brown. So I'm gonna spray a little bit Going with a little bit of a light beige tone. This applicator was poop. We're not gonna use that. Uh, okay, so what's the poop in Swedish? Spice. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure that the latex is dry before you use your beautiful, beautiful brushes because they will get ruined if they get latex on them. We are going to make me look tired and zombie-ish. Um, so we're gonna use a dark tone brown um, around my eyes. Purple. And as you can see, I'm using a kind of tapping motion because I want it to be kind of organic and not like brush strokes. Before I apply the prosthetic, I'm going to cover my mouth with this purple tone too. Now that is one stylish look. This is gonna go on the face. We're gonna cut this open uh, before I play it. And yup, apply that prosthetic using liquid latex or your favorite skin adhesive. Application time. So instead of trying to paint these um, with a brush, because I think that is going to be a project of itself, uh, I'm going to make a little mixture of uh, finger paints and then I'm just going to paint them like that and hopefully it'll look good. And now we have a mustard uh, brownish tone that I'm just going to put right here and then just uh, do this with. Mm, it's pretty. Too purple. Adding some on my nostrils. We're gonna add a little bit of blood later for it to look kind of like I had some nose bleeding going on. And then we're gonna bring it down on my neck too. And in the movies before they turn into full on cranks, uh, the virus kind of spreads uh, with it looking like very thick um, blackish veins. So I'm gonna add some veins into this too. Um, Cause it'll look pretty. And I'm mixing in a little bit of purple to make them a little bit more visible. We're going to use a little bit of this mix, both on my clothes to look dirty and on my skin and face and all over.
back in with the spray. We're going to use this very disgusting goo on my face. Um, if you don't have this product, you can just use mashed up banana because it will look the same. And of course, finishing off with a little bit of blood. It was the tiny little bit. Look at that, now we are almost ready, so let's do a little color adjustment to closer match it up to the movie with that blue-green tone. The makeup look is finally done and my idea for this look uh, to not be completely blind is that I've only put a almost blind uh, lens in this eye and then I'm going to close this eye for the pictures and what I mean scary, like this. And as you can see I've moved a little bit of this branches, veins, things. Uh, to cover parts of my eye to look scary. We really hope you like this look. If you know any new scary monsters that we should do a makeup look out of, please post a comment in the comment section and tell us so that we get some fun, cool ideas from you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Bye!